uh, since the beginning of year, the year, we've had uh, 1,232 people, 1,232 people who've died of COVID-related uh, um, issues um, who had, this is the important issue, who had uh, less than the full vaccinations that were available to them. That's a critical issue. Um, having your full dose of vaccinations that are available to you does make a difference. What we do know now is that um, getting fully vaccinated, whatever number of uh, vaccinations are, you are eligible to get, does make a difference. Uh, the vaccinations are not necessarily stopping transmission. If you haven't had uh, your full doses, and most of the population uh, know that you can have uh, up to three doses, and then possibly four or even more. But if you've had two, for example, or one, and you haven't had your full three, put it bluntly, you're crazy. You should go and get them. I think uh, there are some in the community who uh, are just very busy. Um, there are others in the community who think the pandemic's over. Both of those, on both of those counts, they're wrong. I mean, I know I have friends who've said to me that they're fully dosed, and when I ask the question, they've had two doses of vaccine. And as the health minister, I quickly tell them, go and get your third dose. It's, it's certainly, uh, it's, it's an overconfidence that the pandemic has, has come and gone. It hasn't, it's well and truly here. Um, in addition to those basic me me measures, and for a variety of reasons, some people haven't done what they need to do. And the message here is go and get the third dose, go and get the fourth dose if you're eligible. And if, if at some point the federal government advisory board say get a fifth dose, so we have started a new wave. We need to make it clear that previously um, we did tell you to get two doses and that that would provide protection against COVID. But the virus has changed. So now with Omicron, the evidence is clear that we need three or in some cases four doses to provide the best protection against getting very sick. But they're not so good at protecting us getting infected in the first place. So. We need to act now to slow the spread of the virus in the, in the community. And I'm confident that as a community we can do, take those actions to slow the spread, as well as the individual actions of getting vaccinated, which are fun fundamentally protects ourselves. This is important because when we have levels of sickness and absenteeism, it impacts on the broad community. Um, in terms of its access to goods and services, as we saw in, in, in January. So we all have a part to play. And by taping, taking these simple steps, we can really slow the spread. And as I said, vaccination is key for that individual protection. Um, but this is going to be a, a journey. Um, it, it's actually a positive story that we have such good vaccines. Um, now, whilst for many protected by the vaccine, you don't need to be hospitalised or you won't die, or won't likely die. You know, many of your friends, it's a little bit of potluck, you know, um, even that fit, healthy triathlete um, can be bedridden for a week with it. So my message to everyone is disregard anything we've said about two doses. <laughs> it's three doses or more.